Hello everyone, Sean Benson here, and today I'm showing you how to install LogWatch. LogWatch is a application that you can install on your Debian and Ubuntu systems as well as Fedora, CentOS, and almost any other Linux distribution. And uh, what LogWatch does is watches all your logs and uh, you can get a report for anything that's changed. Uh, it also monitors your PAM logs, your authorization logs, SSH logs, everything, and you get in a nice report. Um, and so uh, this <coughs> this app is uh, pretty useful for security professionals as well as systems admins so you can see what's going on in your system. It's very simple to install app-get install logwatch and there's not much to configure actually um, so once it's installed uh, I have the directory labeled here I'll put this in the in the video below you will just want to edit this file okay so it's user share log watch and then default and then logwatch dot conf okay. and so for the most part these files are uh, this file is pretty good on the um, uh, on its default you'll want to of course uh, you want to of course figure out what works best for you okay. and now the uh, the one thing that will that I change is may, um, the one thing that I change is where the um, the email we can get an email as to uh, what happens on the server like I said um, this this helps uh, keep track of what's going on so I'm just got to find the line okay mail to equals root okay I have SSMTP installed on my uh, server so basically what would happen is, is that right now this is scheduled to send an email to the root user and then the root user have a script to re-email uh, me kind of like a reflection but I don't want that and so if you don't have that set up you could just put like for instance my email shamancini2010 at gmail.com okay and then this is kind of like you know it's going to become from logwatch okay and so just save that okay and now you can run a simple uh, simple line that I made up here to test this so okay just execute this this line and um, uh, give me a minute I'll pause the video and pull up my gmail and show you what this looks like okay so I got that email so this is um, the email that that you'll get here and um, this is the report <coughs> this is the report what uh, what it looks like so you'll see the types of commands that were run um, I have uh, I have a cron job that runs this once a day on my production machines this is a lab machine so but uh, I have a, a like I said I have a script that basically runs uh, and I can see all this um, uh, you'll see your IP tables rules now if you have fail to ban you can actually see uh, all the extra um, uh, rules that it puts in because with fail to ban basically once uh, an IP gets banned it will attach it to an IP tables rule so you're gonna see it here uh, how much disk is left on your server uh, you will have to install for memory info you actually just have to do uh, install sysmem info to get memory info uh, but that's that's pretty simple it actually gives you the command right here okay so now um, that is that's pretty much it what uh, you can actually start doing uh, once you have mail set up if you install SSMTP um, you can actually just have SSMTP also email you things like your um, uh, you can things like your 
your message logs, your syslogs, stuff like that. But uh, LogWatch does that the same. If you actually play around with some of the settings here, so for instance, um, you have service all, which means sending all of the uh, all the information on things like services and stuff. But um, if you do, for instance, secure, okay. Uh, actually, I actually think I got that one wrong. Um, actually, I don't think it's secure. I think, oh, sorry, it's, um, dash dash log file secure. Sorry about that. So it's actually sudo log watch uh, log file secure. And then we want high detail. So the detail you can change from high to medium to low. Mail to, well, that's self explanatory. Range is yesterday. So you can change, like for yesterday's logs, you can change this to today for today's logs, um, stuff like that. I'll include a good link uh, in the description below, kind of like the RFC for. Um, this uh, software it's it's a really must-have uh, for system admins and especially security guys so we can see what's going on uh, and the daily report so just give me a minute I'll pause the video again and we'll see the difference on the security log and as we can see um, <clears throat> the for the security log you get your PAM uh, your PAM uh, related stuff. So how many times a cron job was open? How much uh, SSHD? So I see that Sean me logged in once. Uh, how many times Su uh, Sue authentication uh, happens? How many failures happened? And uh, how many times sudo was used? So uh, now this is only for security. So you can get really granular as to what you want to send uh, instead of one big report. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have uh, any ideas for videos, please also leave them. And uh, of course, you can visit my website, www.chamancini.com. And uh, thanks for watching.